and Amazon already taking pre-orders for the Robert Mueller uh, special counsel witch hunt report. Uh, taking orders, it's selling, by the way, for less than 10 bucks. Uh, it comes with a foreword uh, by Professor Alan Dershowitz, by the way. Uh, the listed release date is March 26th. Uh, I'd like to know how they know that. Uh, I, they're, they're pretty well informed, apparently. Joining us tonight, a man who's always well informed, Congressman Jim Jordan, great American rank, ranking member of the House Oversight Committee, member of the Judiciary Committee, a co-founder of the House Freedom Caucus. Congressman, I've got to turn to, uh, first of all, uh, have you put it in your order for the... Uh, the Mueller report? No, I, the Lou, good to be with you. I didn't know, I didn't know what they, that they knew already, for goodness it's sake. We think it's coming anytime soon. And just by the fact that it's been almost two years, it's got to come sometime soon. But uh, I didn't know they could be this specific. So, no, I don't have my order in yet. By the way, I was thinking it would be coming pretty soon last fall. So, yep. uh, you know, I'm, I'm over my uh, projecting uh, when it's going to arrive. I want to turn first to, to the Department of Homeland Security Secretary talking about the crisis at our southern border is unsustainable. Yet I don't know what the military is doing down there. I don't know what happened to the concertina wire. Yeah. I don't know what's happened to the border patrol. I saw pictures today of uh, border patrol, and I know there's got to be more than these uh, border patrol agents that I witnessed standing around uh, as uh, illegal immigrants are uh, crouched on the ground, sitting yeah. on the ground in many cases. Uh, it is not a very good picture. And I can't no. understand why she's not being held accountable for the department that she is running. And I can't understand why the United States Senate is going to vote for the emergency, uh, the vote against the president in his emergency declaration. Uh, I would argue that, that the, the, the Republicans in particular who are going to vote against it are the same Republicans who didn't want to do it last Congress when we had a majority in the, yep. when we controlled the House and the Senate. And, and this is most certainly an emergency. I think the New York Times reported yesterday 70-some thousand last month alone illegal crossings right. at our, last month alone. So right. the, the two things that have to happen, and we've talked about this, and you've been great talking about this, two things that have to happen. Build the border security wall, reform our asylum laws. You have to stop the incentive or we're going to have an endless caravan because the incentive is always going to be there to get to this country, get inside this country, and then the catch and release policy because of our asylum laws. That's what is incentivizing so much of this. And that has got those two things. If we do those two things, that will that would be the, the, the most important effort we could have right now. Then we can get to all the other issues about immigration. But then, of course, as you well know, there would still be the Obama and Clinton appointed judges, particularly in the Ninth Circuit, particularly up in Northern California, who would be working against every policy, every initiative of this president to block him from securing the border, yeah. stopping illegal immigration, stopping asylum seekers. What happened to the return, return to Mexico policy to stop asylum seekers? Uh, in this Homeland Security Department is enforcing nothing of yeah. what this president says. And why not challenge those courts and challenge the activist judges? And by the way, what about Judge Chief Justice Roberts, who said there are no Obama-appointed uh, judges or uh, Bush-appointed justices or Trump. They're just good old judges. I mean, yeah. what kind of nonsense and pablum are we being fed by the man responsible for the FISA courts and the United States Supreme Court? Yeah, you had a lot in there, Lou, and it was all good. Uh, but but I'll tell you what, in spite of... <laughs> I'll, in spite I'll, of I'll do it by segments in yeah, the future. In spite of all these, all these entities and efforts against the president, Think about what has been accomplished in two years. And I just, this list, it, it could be a lot longer, but taxes down, regulations down, economy growing at an unbelievable rate, lowest unemployment in 50 years, Gorsuch and Kavanaugh on the court, out of the Iran deal, embassy in, in Jerusalem, hostages home from North Korea, new NAFTA agreement. I mean, uh, the, the market going, growing like, the, the, it's been an amazing two years. In spite it is, of it's a the historic fact every, two years. In, a historic in spite president. of the fact, so what we have to do is we just have to continue to do what we said, Keep fighting hard, keep pushing in spite of all the opposition that's against us. And if we have that attitude, this is America. We'll get it right eventually. We'll get, to, we'll get those good policy outcomes that we ultimately need in spite of the left, in spite of the mainstream press, in spite of some Republicans who don't want to support the president. We will get there. And that's the attitude the president has. That's the attitude the folks in the Freedom Caucus have, the Republicans in the, Cong in the House have. So we just got to keep that attitude and keep fighting away. Well... To quote a, a, a great uh, legislator uh, and uh, great American, uh, you put a lot in there, 
Uh, it was all good. Uh, and, and frankly, Congressman, I needed that. Uh, <laughs> I am sitting here still boiling over what I saw this president uh, uh, contend with and advocate today in the White House. Uh, reversing uh, his immensely successful, as I said, historic policies Lou, on on uh, on the uh, working man and woman uh, in this country, the forgotten man, yeah. and to buy the bull that's been fed him by the likes of Tom Donahue and the other phonies that were sitting in the now, room now, with him. Now look what the president's up against. 81 different letters Jerry Nadler sent out two days ago to 60-some individuals. This is the, They're coming after the White House in every way they can. But of those 81 letters, 60-some individuals, it's interesting to me the two individuals that they didn't send a letter to, the two most important in my judgment, Glenn Simpson, the guy who was paid right. by the Clinton campaign to put together the dossier, and Christopher Steele, the guy Glenn Simpson hired, a foreigner, to write the dossier that st started this whole crazy ordeal. Those two didn't get a letter from Jerry Nadler, which shows what these guys are up to. The Mueller report is not going to say what they wanted. It's not going to, they put all their eggs in that basket. I don't okay. think it's going to say what they wanted, which, you know, it's going to say there was no collusion, I think. And so they got to figure out something else. So they do on this, they go on this fishing expedition, but they don't go after the two people to get information from the two most important people that started this whole thing. Congressman, I particularly enjoyed when you and I talked past each other. I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking I, illegal immigration and trade and uh, uh, the working man and uh, uh, woman and uh, middle and class families. And you're talking, you're talking truth, justice, and the American way. And well, I like what, that I'm as well. About the, I'm talking about you are. The forces against this president, the forces against the American people. That's what we got to keep fighting against and, and make sure we get the right things done. Amen, brother. Thank you, Congressman. You bet, Lou. Take, Appreciate take care. It. Take care.